Hey everybody, this is Roger Eastlick with businesswebsiteceo.com and in this video I'm going to take you how through how to sign up for the free uh, mail autoresponder, email autoresponder service called MailChimp and we're going to show you how to sign up for an, an, a free account, how to create a list, how to create a, a form, and how to put that form out on a WordPress website. That's basically what we're going to do. Uh, MailChimp is very popular, probably in no small reason due to the fact that it is free. Um, there are some limitations, but for a lot of people it seems to work okay. So let's get started. So in order to uh, sign up for MailChimp, of course you're going to want to go to the MailChimp web website. So you're going to you're going to want to type in MailChimp. Dot com that's m a i l c h i m p dot com and you'll come to this page right here once you're here you want to go ahead and click on the sign up free button down here you come to this form right here all you need to do is type in your email and make sure your email is correct you've typed it in right you give, give yourself a username and a password now the password you only type in once so you want to probably make sure that uh, it is a password that you can remember so see if I got mine right here see it wants one uppercase letter so let's do this again Okay, once you've got that, then you just want to cr click on the button that says create my account. Do you do need to have one special character as well? I tell you. All right, there we go. Hopefully I can remember that now. Well, we'll find out. All right, so anyway, then you're going to go ahead and click on create my account. Turns black. And once you do that, it gives you this notice that thanks for signing up I'll save the password why not and then it tells you to check your email and activate your account so if you go to your email then in my experience I've signed up for a couple of these it's pretty fast so here I've got mine here already it says activate your ma your MailChimp, MailChimp account so I'm going to click I'm going to open up my e that email and then I've got this big blue activate account button so I'm going to click on that and I don't know if it's going to uh, there we go okay so now it gives, brings you to this page so you're going to want to type in your name Your email address is probably going to be populated with the one you used already. Um, they talk a lot about the cam span, and so you're really going to want to um, fill this out. They even are sneaky with their reverse, their reverse lookup, and they try to figure out where you are. In my instance, it's uh, not correct, but anyway, you want to give uh, you know your website URL if you've got one. I think it's better if you've got one. I don't know if it matters. And I suppose you can put your correct legal address in there. I think it's required for span uh, for can spam law. It's better to be open about this stuff anyway. There's no hiding on the internet anymore. Ha ha. Okay, and so I've got my address in there. I'm not sure if you can get by this stuff or not. We'll, we'll find out. So let's see your industry, the Eastern Time. I'm not going to do a photo, save and get started. 
All right, so it wants you to enter a value for the organizational stuff. So let's just pick some stuff here. All right, so I guess you have to do these four things. It wants to know how many people are in your organization, how about how old is your organization, do you, are you importing anything into MailChimp, and are you setting up this for a client? Just add, you, you're going to, hopefully it should be, you know, these two, you would put whatever you want, and these two down here, it should be no and no, that you're not setting it up for a client, you're not setting it up for, um, to import anything into MailChimp. After that, see if that'll let us go now let's see click on save and get started it looks like it did so you can click on it, it gives you some things just go ahead and dismiss them one of the first things that you're going to want to do is create a list so over here on the right you've got to create a list button so let me see do I have this Should have set this up a little bit. Anyway, hopefully you can see this. Um, so you have no lists. Create a list. Click on create a list up here. The list name can be whatever you want it to be. It says make it something your subscribers will see this. So you want to make it look something that uh, they will not be scared by. They'll recognize. But I'm going to just do a one for I am going to do do one just for the test here so default from mail so I use something here I just put something in default from name you can put your own name in there if you want to or your company name something people will recognize again remind how people got on your list thanks for Exciting. So you put something here that's relevant, right? Up uh, for for my WordPress. Tutorials. And it's going to give you again your physical address. You can edit that if you need to. And then after that you can click on save. Okay, so now you've got, or you can just click on the dismiss button here. So now you have a list. What you really want next is a sign up form. So click on sign up forms. Click on embedded form, or yeah, right here, embedded forms. And what you can do is, I think that the, the ones I like to set up anyway are email address and first name, and that's it. So what you can do to get rid of the last name, which is there already, is to it will allow you to yep yeah, right here edit required fields in the form builder so you want to go ahead and click on that and then all you have to do is I believe you can take the last name out yep so you click on that so you see if you hover over this and you get a plus and a minus sign, if you click on the minus, it says, you know, deleting a form also deletes the data associated with it. You really want to do this, type delete to confirm. So I just type delete to confirm, click on delete field. All right, and that's a that's basically now you've got email address, you've got a first name, and you've got a subscribe to list, and that's really what we want and after that what we want to do is go to we want to go back up here to sign up forms and go ahead and click on that and click on embedded forms alright and at this point so now you see you've got email address and first name is all we're asking for and then you've got this copy and paste into your site so what we want to do is we want to click left click in the box it highlights everything right click copy now you're going to go over to your WordPress installation you want to log into the WordPress installation forward slash WP 
dash admin okay and then go ahead and put in your credentials in the box there click on login all right now here we are in the WordPress dashboard so the next thing we want to do is what we're going to do here is I've already set up a sidebar and by default most themes already have sidebars in them so we are going to go to a we're going to go down here to appearance and then widgets and I'm going to click on widgets and now we're going to grab a text box down here I'm going to grab this text box and drag it up and I just put it right underneath my search it doesn't really matter where you put it we're just going to put it in the right sidebar and now we've got this text box and I'm just going to left click inside of the box underneath the title and right click and then paste and then click on save and then if we go ahead and we look at our site and we go to somewhere that's got a something that's got a sidebar so for example our blog pages have a sidebar in this particular uh, forget about this one that is something I, I added before okay what we're gonna get is this subscribe to our mailing list and the, the box here so you can now you've got a mailing list set up in MailChimp and you've got a, um, a form that, that is in your in your WordPress installation so you can start collecting uh, email addresses and sending them out uh, broadcast emails. This is Roger Eastlick. I hope this has been helpful. Um, thanks for watching and have a great day. If you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and other social media. Thanks.